working with the Expo Client app. In this video, I'm going to talk about combining Expo Snack, the website and service functionality to create React native apps, and then working with the Expo Client on a mobile device to show the same client information on the mobile device as developed on the site. All of that to say is that this example requires two different things. The first of which is Expo Snack, as I have pulled up right here. You can see on the screen right here some code. And I'm also holding in my hand a mobile device. It's a little hard to see, but on the screen over here on the left hand side, you see the exact screen I'm looking at. And in fact, you'll see as I pull up here in just a moment, the Expo app, you'll see we can work with that. So I can't show both things at the same time. So you're actually going to see me moving the Android app over on the side, uh, back and forth on the screen as we look at the Expo snack underneath it. So to start then, I have an Expo snack pulled up. As I mentioned, see this code. I'm also selecting web over here in the far right so we can see an example of this code in action. So if I type in example and then for the password secret, as I have set up right here and click submit, we see you are logged in under the web preview. Fantastic. So now we want to move and actually test on a mobile device. So on another mobile device, or on another device that is, I have already installed the Expo client on Android in this particular example. So I'm going to go ahead and have that pulled up here. And then, as you'll see, I've opened the Expo app on the Android device. Give it just a moment. The, the device is a little older. So on newer devices, this will start faster. And then it will say, hey, the first option is scan QR code. Well, where does the QR code come from? The QR code is generated when we use the My Device tab in Expo Snack. So instead of using web, I'm now going to click on My Device. And it says, hey, download the Expo client and scan the QR code to get started. That's what I want to happen. So navigating, trying to record and navigate this Android device in my hand, I'm going to click on Scan QR Code. It's going to briefly open it, and then it's going to look at the screen. Pull my thumb out of the way here. And then as soon as it has it, it's going to attempt to load. So we'll give it just a moment here to download the code and install everything. And then once it's ready, we will see, there it is, device connected, and there we go. And now we see down here on this corner, we see connected device Z4, which is the device I'm using for this demo. And then we see on the Android device, the exact same thing we saw in the web preview, except now it's actually on the device. So if I navigate and type in the same information, example and secret and click submit, I get you are logged in and I don't want to save that login information. And it says, there it goes. Notice as soon as I went away from it, for example, the little Google thing popped up and said, hey, do you want to save this? As soon as I navigated away, it said device disconnected, and then it said device connected again as soon as it got focus again. So this is how we can combine Expo Snack and the Expo Client. Now, the Expo Client has to be installed on a mobile device. So for Android, you have to go to the Android uh, Google Play service or Google Play Store and download the Expo Client. And then for iOS, similar to the App Store, go in and get the Expo Client for that as well. And then in both cases, use the scan QR code from the app itself. Scan the QR code generated by Expo Snack to see the exact same code running in the device. Now, this is fairly neat, of course, and it works great as an example. But the other really interesting thing about this and why it's incredibly useful is that now, once it's connected to the device, the device is connected to the code, they will, the device will now do live reloading of the code whenever it changes. So, for example, if I said down here, and instead said, and change this code slightly, now notice the Android device updated because the code refreshed. So I'm going to type it back in again. Example. 
Secret. You're logged in. Cool, right? Notice it updated moments after I typed in the code. So just as using the web preview does live reloading, we can also do live reloading on an actual mobile device as I'm holding in my hand here using the My Device option with an Expo Snack. Now again, you have to install the Expo Client on the mobile device and then scan the QR code, but for testing on an actual mobile device, this works amazingly well. Oh, sorry, and then I was turning the device so the orientation was changing. There we go, bring it back again. <laughs> there we go. So this has been an example of how to, use, how to combine Expo Snack with the My Device option and the Expo Client on an installed, in this case, Android device I've been holding in my hand this whole time. So very, very useful for testing, incredibly useful to do the live reloading on the device itself as the code updates and different things have changed. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this back out pause and then give it just a moment and we see the android app then updated so again very useful for testing on a mobile device assuming you have your mobile device and you have your expo client installed on it all you have to do is scan the qr code now the other thing i didn't mention before i stop this recording is that depending on the device and sort of newer devices this is different than older devices on newer devices if you have the Expo Client installed, and especially in iOS, it will automatically pop up, hey, do you want to open this in the Expo Client when looking at a QR code from the camera? For older, especially older Android devices, you'll have to open the app and then go into the QR code functionality. So again, just depends on uh, the age of the device and the sort of newer functionality within it. Um, but it will always work if you open the Expo app, uh, go to scan QR code and present it with the QR code that uh, popped up using the my device option. So again, another way to test. You can either test using web or test on an actual device, assuming you have the Expo client installed.